first major award of the 2008 season and it's, it's gone to yourself. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm highly delighted to get the award, obviously. There's that many great players in Super League and to come out on top and not get a point in the last 10 games <laughs> to achieve it in itself. But yeah, it's, it's a great award and I'm uh, pleased to receive it. And in a way that sort of sums up Wakefield's season. You made a fantastic start, uh, contenders for the top six, cup semi-final fell away a bit at the end, but overall it's been a great season for the team and yourself. Yeah, it's been an up and down season, obviously not scoring in the last 10 games, just goes to show you know, how our performances did dip in the later stages, but you know, we started off you know, immense at the beginning of the season, we'd have been pushing for joint top spot I reckon if we'd have carried on, but yeah, hopefully we can just push on for next year though and you know, not have the same dip as we have this year. And awards are always a measure of consistency. This one was voted for by reporters each game with a, a 3 to one method. So again, it just shows that, that you've been playing well in every single game and it's not just a couple of eye-catching performances. Yeah, as I said, at the start of the season, you know, the team were going well and you know, I, I, can, I play well when the team's going well. It's a, it's a, a team award, I think, really, because if, if I'm just doing stuff and you know, losing games and stuff like that, I won't get the mentions, but you know, on the back of good go forward and good players around you, it brings the best out of people. And just look at the, the venue that we're in today, it's, it's the inaugural time this medal's been held, and we're in the George Hotel where the game was, was founded, uh, surrounded by all this memorabilia, does that just make it even a little bit more special? It, it does, obviously with great players here on the walls and you know, still playing, it's, to, it is special to be here at this uh, meeting at Huddersfield, just to receive it as well. And, in front of all these pitches and people, it's great. And, and the management who put this award together are trying to follow the Dally M's in Australia, and obviously that carries again a lot of amounts of prestige with it. Uh, you're going to the World Cup in Australia with Scotland. You can go as a, you know the, the best player in Super League, Albert Goldthorpe medal winner. Presumably that will help your confidence. Right? Yeah, it's a massive confidence boost to receive it above you know all the internationals that are in the Super League, and you know I'm going out as a Scotland international looking. You know, to perform well on a big stage against the best in the world, and hopefully I can do that. And does this cap your season? You, you may not have you know, won the team honours that uh, perhaps you're looking for, but individually, can you sit back and say 2008, I had a good time? Yeah, I think I think I can, yeah. Just a couple of dips now and then, but hopefully next year I'll be looking to push on. And you know, I've enjoyed this year thoroughly, and you know, I'm ready to go in the World Cup. So it's been a, a big couple of days for you, first of all, the uh, Young Player of the Year at Leeds, and then the Rookie of the Year at, uh, at the George Hotel. Yeah, it's like you say, it's been big two days for me and probably a bit too much to take uh, right now, but I'm sure, you know, at the end of the season I'll, I'll have a look back at it and, and, uh, and see how, how great this week's been for me. Did you set yourself some goals at the start of the season? That could you have imagined it would end with, uh, with people fighting you as the best young player in the game? Yeah, I mean, you obviously you set yourself goals at the beginning of every year and, and that, that's what I did. I set myself goals and, and I've, I've achieved some of them goals and... And I've, I've not achieved some of those goals, so. Uh, but I'm, I'm really happy with, with the, this year so far, and I just hope we can, you know, go on and, and finish the season off in style. In both of the award ceremonies, you had quite a look of shock on your face. Did both of these awards come as a surprise to you? Well, it's. I mean, you, you don't ever expect, you know, to, to win to, to win awards. That that'd be a bit far fetched, but. Um, yeah, I was shocked because of, because of the great competition that I'm up against. You know, last night's award at, um, at the Leeds presentation, there's some great uh, young young players coming through there, and, and to, to to come out on top there was a real real achievement for me. And same again with this this award, the Rookie of the Year. It's, there's been some some great players coming through this year, and it's it's a real honour for me to to take this award. And again, just talking a little bit about the setting, we've come to the George Hotel, which is where the, the birthplace of the game is. Does, does it mean just a little bit extra to be amongst you know, the great icons of the game? Yeah, it's, it's a great place. You, you look around and you, there's, there's all the, the, the Hall of Fame and all the, the history of the game. It's, it's a special place and probably no better place than to host this event. And you've re-signed again for Leeds, extended your contract, so this is really only the start of it. Has it given you a taste for eventually the Man of Steel and... Perhaps even the Albert Goldthorpe. Those are really things I'm thinking about right now. It's just for me, it's just to take it week by week and, and keep keep improving. I'm still young, so I've got I've got plenty to work on, plenty to improve, and just my my aim is just to, to keep working on those little things and, and keep getting uh, better each week. Have you looking at yourself as an outside bet, maybe for the England party for the World Cup? No, like I say, it's, it's that's all. Uh, bit too far down the line for me. It's it's not something that I'm 
I'm focusing on like like I've just said to you there. I'm, I'm trying to focus on my game, get get my game to the best it can be. And you know, I'm learning from some great players at Leeds, and uh, just that, that's all I can do at the minute. So we'll just have just have to see. Congratulations! Did it come as a surprise to you to be uh, given an outstanding achievement award? It did, yeah. Um, I got a phone call off uh, Matty Sadler. He phoned me up and I thought at first one was playing a joke on me. Um, and until I got the, the, um, the invitation in the post, you know, I, I realised it's not a joke. So, but it's a great honour, you know, um, you know, for to be the first lifetime achievement award. It's, uh, it's a great honour for me. There's a couple of uh, nice symmetries here. The first thing is we're here to celebrate Albert Goldthorpe, and of course. Your tenth club is, is Hunslet, so that's uh, that's, a that's nice right. Yeah, um, and it's, it's a bit ironic. Uh, the one thing something else ironic is uh, all the three winners. So that's a jubilee lads, which is uh, which Steve always jumped up and joy with in there. So he's just I just mentioned like you know all the lads are from Jules, but he went yes, he's like that. So I thought it was pretty good. And the other thing, of course, is that Martin read out the uh, original match report from 1991, so you go back to the beginning of the paper, and again, that, that's another nice uh, circle square. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, I mean, one thing is obviously I've started my career at Leeds, um, and in hindsight, I've probably finished my career in, in Leeds at Umslet, so And the first game, first team game was against Jewsbury, and I'm a Jewsbury lad, so it's, it's quite a few things in the mix there. And can you believe that uh, 1991 just rolls off the tongue as we stand here in 2008, that you've, you've had this long, distinguished career? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I mean, um, I know Harry spoke before and he said that, um, you know, when I went first went to Leeds, I didn't have to make it, which, which is a fair dues, and I was going to pack in after that, and I thought, I stuck at it, you know, joined the other club, and to be honest with you, I never, never looked back, really, um, and here we are 19 seasons later, which is, uh, which is good, I suppose. And rugby league, obviously, in the family, in the blood, presumably, there was never anything else you were going to do when you were youngster. No, I mean, my dad played professional for Hull, um, Rochdale and Jewelry and whatever, um, and also I, I take over the mantle, um, and I've also got my nephew playing now, he's, uh, he's just signed for Hull. So my um, poor old mother's been watching my dad play and then watching me play, and I've been hopefully watching him for another 20 years. So. And when you picked up the award, you said obviously with any career of that longevity, there's highs and lows, well, forget the lows, what, what would be the highs that you pick out? Um, there's been quite a few, I mean I play, for, I play for England, you know, representing my country, um, play for under 21, play for Yorkshire. Um, I got to the semi-final of the Challenge Cup, which is obviously was a bit of a downer, but um, we could have won it, obviously. Um, and just playing for, for so long, you know, and you know, it, it, one of the one good things about when you get injured is coming back and you know and getting back into the game. You know, sometimes you think, oh, should I pack in? Is it over? Kind of thing. And keep bouncing back. And that's a positive for me. And, and just finally about the event, we're, we're obviously we're in the George Hotel. All the great names of rugby league are commemorated here. And your first lifetime achievement winner, so again, that, that must be nice for me. It is, yeah, I mean, obviously, but the, the one surreal thing was I walked in, and there's Alex Murphy and, and Billy Boston, and both walked up to me and shook my hand and said, how are you doing, France? And I thought, hey, how do they know me? You know, great legends like that. Uh, and obviously, to win the award is, is an extra special, you know, uh, achievement, I suppose, which is good.